And it's really nice to see these women like just show off all of the things that they can do because they can do so much. Um, so yeah, it's uh, again, again, surrounded by amazing women that make me look good. It's really, it's the secret. Congratulations on getting to season two. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so your character, I, I wish you guys were actually together because your character dynamics are, you're, is just one of the funniest parts of the show. And <laughs> <laughs> Kayla is, is such a, an inept assistant at some, some points. Um, <laughs> but I'm, in season two, are we going, Meg, in season two, are we going to see her sort of transform and at least somewhat take the job a little bit more seriously? I think that you get to see her be driven by her love of Jimmy. <laughs> you get to see her try to step it up in different ways, but she's a messy girl with a good attitude and fashion. <laughs> but I think she really tries. I think she really loves her job, but more as a hobby. Like, I don't think she needs the money or the power, but I think she's like, okay, let's, because I love Jimmy and I want him to be proud of me, you know? Right. And Paul, you're balancing acting and writing and directing all of this. How challenging is it to do all of that and change your hats when, you know, at different points of production? You know, it's easy. No, it's, um, <laughs> you know, it just comes natural. I, I don't know. It comes naturally. No, it's, it can, it can be hard, but I'm really lucky because I, you know, I not only did I create and write the show with, Jen Statsky and Lucia Yellow, who are so brilliant and make me look so good. But also I have seen partners like Meg, who is so liquid funny that I'm like, I'm just surrounded by talented women is the truth is hundred percent the truth. And so it really makes my job a pleasure and easy. Um, so yeah, it, it, you know, I try not to think about time and I have to say acting is the most fun of the hats to wear. Um, you know, Meg and I, have a lot of fun on set. Sometimes too much. Sometimes too much. Which, sometimes which, sometimes is, enough, you know? which is the most fun to do with Gene Smart? Oh. <laughs> well, getting to act opposite Gene is an honor. I mean, that's like, she's an icon. It's legendary. So that's also the most fun. Although writing for Gene and then hearing her deliver a joke mm -hmm. even better than you imagined is so is such a pleasure. And I, I really love, you know, directing Gene too, because... Um, as a performer, you know, I know what it's like to get direction, you know? And so I, I, I like to think that um, we can communicate in a way also as performers. And so, I mean, it's a whole thing is it, it's just, it's just pleasure at every turn. I gotta tell you, it's also hard. Okay. It's also sometimes hard, but it's also fun. Yeah. And in season like two, the show. guys brought, Drama. In a, brought in a lot of new, uh, there's some new faces. You got Lori Metcalf. Is coming in, and I know oh. uh, Ming Na Wen is in oh. this season too. Oh my god, she's yeah. so good. <laughs> so which, good. One, which one has changed hacks? The dynamic of hacks. Wow. Well, you know, Lori is, is someone who I think is actually really um, the tone of hacks because she's someone who is so funny. She can raise an eyebrow, and she is so funny, and yet she's also a gifted dramatic actor. You know, she's a Tony-winning, Oscar-nominated actor. So. In a way, she encompasses, I think, the tone of the show really, really well. And Ming-Na is such another example of someone who does a lot of more dramatic stuff, more action stuff, um, and doesn't do a ton of comedy, but is so funny. And it's really nice to see these women like just show off all of the things that they can do because they can do so much. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, again, again, surrounded by amazing women that make me look good. It's really... It's the secret. I got to tell you, it's really the secret. <laughs> it's the secret for hack success, I guess. At least for mine, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, for this year, you're also taking the show outside of Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. um, was there like a concerted effort to say, you know, we really got to shake things up for season two and this is one of the best ways to do that? You know, I think we really wanted to push the relationship dynamic between Ava and Deborah and putting them you know, Vegas is somewhere that's sort of this like oasis in the middle of nowhere, you know, um, what happens in Vegas. But the same is <laughs> true for a lot of these, um, a lot of these stretches in between cities where they're on the road in the middle of the desert or, you know, um, 
at a dive bar at 4 a.m. Like we wanted to put them in places where they were, they were big fish in a small pond. We wanted to make it a really big pond. And um, I think it, it's, it really tests the limits of a relationship when you're traveling in a confined space with somebody. I hope we get to see Kayla in an odd spot in the middle of the country. <laughs> that would be fun. That would be fun. Traveling Kayla would be, yeah. let's see her in Japan. I think that's great. I love that. Right? A weekend. Yeah. I think she does go on huge weekend trips. Yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> well, there, there's your idea for a spinoff. <laughs> Kayla does Tokyo. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to see, because I just think, yeah, I want to see her on a full vacation, but only for two days. And then she's back at work. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us at popculture.com about hacks and I wish you guys the best of luck.